Hi to Chaco. We do have in the yellow in the bottom left, we have Sawin. He's going for Blade Master. In the bottom right, we have uh, Loliath. He's going for Demon Hunter. So there's the Ancient of War. And the top, in the top left, we have in the blue, we have uh, Foggy. He's going for Demon Hunter. And the top right, we have in the blue, uh, a Blade Master and Grunt. Okay, so Blade Master, Grunt, Demon Hunter, and Hunters is one. Ancient of War, only Hunters is. And here we have the Team Hunter as well, and you know, Blade Master as well. So we have a mirror match, that's what we have. But it's not a complete mirror match because Lolight is already creeping with the Ancient of War. Well, Foggy, he's going Hunters. Lolight will probably get the Berserker, or well, Berserker, he will try to get a Berserker later. But look at this Foggy stall, the first Lolight, the Priest, and the Blade Master. He kills the Ogre and tries to go for the Archer, and the Archer is definitely dead. She's dead. Blade Master just killed that Archer, and uh, the Demon Hunter is going for the Demon Hunter with the Grunt backup. That's an interesting uh, combination of uh, units. Where did the Blade Master go? Oh, there he is. And there's a nice mana burn. This uh, Human Hunter does retreat. What item did he get? I forgot. Oh, one well, of mana stealing. He steals the mana of the Demon Hunter. Okay. Which is very interesting. That means uh, if he uses Moon Juice, well, it doesn't change the thing at how much Moon Juice he uses. But it was beautiful. Blade Master, does he want to creep this? So we... Oh, you going for the Wisp. The Wisp is totally dead. Oh, no. It detonates in his face. Nice. Nice there by... Uh, uh, Foggy. Because he, he was lucky. The Wisp didn't die in two hits. Blade Master can kill Wisp in two hits. But it's a bit of RNG. Of course, it's beautiful Grunt Block. But the Forceful Shadow Priest here uh, heals the Blade Master. Up a, a Demon Hunter up a little bit. He will get out of this fight. We have an Archer a Wisp over there in the trees. There's another Grunt. What is this Grunt doing? He's just going to help the Blade Master and the Grunt that are fighting against the Demon Hunter here in the base. The Demon Hunter just hides with his Clock of Shadows. He's like an archer. He's like a little girl. And uh, the archer's here defending this base. The Blade Master, he's going. What, where is he going? What is he doing? He's just standing there. Okay, nice job. Do we have a Berserker? The Berserker is available. The First Lord Shadow Priest is also available. And of course, the Light buys both of them. So Lolite had some archers as the, some trolls. Meanwhile, we're getting hunters here for Foggy. And the Blade Master is over here for uh, Orc Worker. Here's a hunters. Hunters take some damage from the Blade Master. Demon Hunter mana burns the Blade Master for 50 mana. The Demon Hunter here with the, the archers and trolls just creeping this creep camp. He wants level 2, but... Uh, well, meanwhile, the ally is fighting by himself against the Night Elf, against Foggy. And against the grunts of Orc Worker as well. The Blade Master, meanwhile, is going for the Wisps. Okay, now the archers are helping. This grunt is uh, taking a bit of damage. Demon Hunter is still super low, but you know, no one is killing him, so who cares? And Blade Master, find some grunties. The grunties are retreating. The hunters are retreating. The Blade Master is so annoying. This Orc Worker, Blade Master, Joshua. You knew it was going to be Joshua, of course. Joshua is always the most annoying Blade Master. Right, here we have uh, Mogul. Hmm. So Win getting the Mogul. So Win is known as uh as kind of the only orc player that can that can tame Mogul. Big master here retreating, Yoshura. Okay, he's not retreating. He's uh being annoying. Demon Hunter is gonna finish this creep camp. Yes, go for the null overseer. We have our art, uh, wisp and the tree still. The blade master getting some nulls. Tier two going up. Bestiary, berserker strength, shadow hunter, wormill went up. He's upgrading his uh, grunts. No spirit lodge. Here on the other hand, other side, same thing. Just a bit later. Bestiary, wormill going up. Here for uh, we have this loliat hunter's hole. There's ancient of lore. There's an ancient floor. It's going to tree. He keeps a, he's a tree of ages. The third ancient of lore. Wow. Here we have ancient of wonders, ancient of lore, ancient of lore, for foggy. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna creep. Demon hunter and the blade master creeping this creep camp. Demon hunter is level two now. Shadow song. He sings songs of shadows. Uh, Boots of Pot, the last here on the Blade Master, is of course a super nice item. And let's see what we get over here. And over here. And over here. 
Right, yeah. Well, let's see. This rock column is going down. And he's going to die. Boots of Quatalas as well. Wow. It's a true mirror. Both teams getting Boots of Quatalas. This Ogre Magi here takes a bit of damage. We'll get a um, parry up. Eh, nah, not that great. Here we got a Potion of Greater Mana. Gives it to the Shadow Hunter. That's going to be super nice. Once this Shadow Hunter gets level 3. It's going to be so nice. Still, none of the orcs go for spirit walkers. There's a Kodo. We have a Kodo here. There's a Kodo being built. And the Night Elves just uh, massing Dryads. There's a Priestess of the Moon. And here as well, Priestess of the Moon. Massing Dryads. Such a mirror build. <laughs> That's a dead knoll. But the Shadow Hunter is higher level here for uh, Orc Worker, and that matters a lot. So we Shadow Hunter is not level two yet. Because I'm innocent creeps. Oh, Tome of Agility, that's nice. The Blade Master now with the Boots of Quatalas. Two circles, 37 agility. This Blade Master, only 31. Difference of six agility here between the two Blade Masters. Two rings of protection though. Means this Blade Master is pretty hard to kill. 40% damage reduction. This one only at uh, 35. Blade Master is almost level 3. He wants level 3. He gets level 3. Shadow Hunter is still level 2. We have a sheep. He's bang. <laughs> Shadow Hunter here is barely, uh, just barely level 2. So he's still far behind in XP. He does have the Rope of the Magic though. Which is a super duper nice item. Shadow Hunter, is this enough for level 3? Is this enough? No, it isn't. It is. I, I was just testing you guys. Of course it is. And now we have a level 3 Shadow Hunter, which is uh, amazing. Amazing. Oh, the Demon Hunter creeping over here. He's level 3. Priest of the Moon level 1. Here the Priest of the Moon is already level 2. Almost level 3. It seems like uh, Team Foggy and Orc Worker is just ahead in XP. A player's forces are under attack. Three, two, three, three. And the level two is ninety percent to level three. Here we have three, two, three, two. Much further away from level three. Uh supplies. Yeah, everyone is around fifty. Actually, Orc Worker already at fifty-eight. Seems like Team Orc Worker and Foggy. Maybe their early game went really well. Much better than I thought it did. Are under okay, well, there's a TP out for Loliath. Did the Kodo eat something? He, he ate the Dryad. It's a Priestess, he still needs 7 XP. If, if this Dryad dies, she will be level 3. Oh, team Blue, Team Orc Worker, Foggy. Such a good position. 3 Kodos here for Serene. 5 Grunts and 3 Kodos. And he's getting a Snare. <laughs> here we have uh, 2 Kodos and a Demolisher. Demolish is so super powerful against mass Dryads and Kodos. Everything is unarmored. Demolishers are super powerful against unarmored units. Is he getting more? He's uh, not going over 50 yet. I mean, he's, uh, he's up to 58. He's not going over 60 yet. But after the burrow is up, he will go. Build more units. The Raiders stayed. Don't know if he has spillage, but uh, they're beautiful. A Blade Master goes in for the Berserker. Demon Hunter over here as well. The, the Demolisher is attacking the base. He should probably be helping his uh, his units over here. Priest of the Moon is level 3 now. And of course he picks level 2 True Short Aura. So uh, Dries here doing a lot of damage. The Codes come in. They want to eat. But uh, you know they're dying here. They're being focused. 1-8 the Hunters. Is she, uh, he's safe in the back. Meanwhile the Raiders here are dying slowly. While, while trying to kill some units. There's a Healing Wave. Healing wave so powerful. This blade master is he dead? There's a level one healing wave still for Team Sawin. This blade master is still alive. Ah! This blade master is uh, wanting to kill some more units. There's another mana bird for 97. The wish come in, wish come in with a flank uh, detonate attack. So more units dying. And the radio goes down. Grid goes down. Kodo goes down. Another Kodo goes down. No more Kodos for Team uh, Loliath. And uh, Orc Worker still has one Kodo. Demolisher, what is the Demolisher doing? Did it go down? Blade Master is very low on hit points. He does retreat. 
And he tries to finish off the last go though. And the demon hunter just uh hunting down these triads. But the demolisher did go down at some point. Okay, who's winning this game now? We have uh 37, 36. Yeah, team orc work is super far ahead in supply. They are up by 25 supply. There goes another grunt. We have the PS here fighting as well. Blade Master Shadow Hunter gonna help out. This uh, Demon Hunter in trouble. There's an snare. He could be. Oh, here comes uh, Shadow Hunter. He can heal him back up. Maybe this Demon Hunter is just a uh, jabate. He's just a jabate. Can uh, no, there's too much damage. He's it's not a jabate. It's just a dead uh, Demon Hunter. And this Skoda here is being focused here by the drives by the Berserker. Everyone just focusing. Uh, well, it's actually they are going for the Blade Master. You're going for the Blade Master. That's fine. We kill the Blade Master. We have a baby seal Demon Hunter here. He's back to being a Demon Hunter. Blade Master in trouble here. He TP's out. Uh, there goes another Dryad. And this Demon Hunter. He's uh, mana burning the Shadow Hunter for 16. He's just staying here. Just keeps killing units. Level 4 uh, Priestess of the Moon. Going for the Kodo. The Demon Hunter on his way back already. And uh, there is a Priestess of the Moon for the Light. She died a long time ago. And she's back. Demon Hunter does TP out. And as you guys can see, the Kodo is so hungry. And he almost gets to eat, but not quite. But supplies, guys, the supplies. The soup lies 98 against 69. This is such a difference in uh, supplies. This Berserker is also dead. So that's maybe the time for a comeback. We also have a level 3 uh, Priest of the Moon, finally. This, uh, this Shadow Hunters, look at the mana. If he can just mana back up to full mana and if they can can go back to a 100 supply army team uh so win the lion you know they might have a chance but that's never going to happen they know the shadow hunter is super duper powerful they won't let this game go on they're just gonna end it right now there's an ancient of tree of life being built here for foggy kills a few units we have wisp there in the tree this grunt is also dead. This grunt is dead. Okay. One demolisher. No attack upgrades on the demolisher, but the grunts are. Uh, okay, never mind. Everything is. Uh, only one armor upgrade here for uh, Orc Worker. The drives are 2 and 0. Plus, of course, the level 2 uh, two shot aura. GG there by Loliat. GG there by Sawin. GG there by, by Chaco. Chaco saying GG. Look at this uh, instant war going up. For Foggy. Altar also going up. Here's the same thing. Altar and Angel of War. What do we have here? We have uh, an Altar and a Barracks here for Orc Worker. And the same here for Sawin. Such a mirror match. Do we get two one versus ones? Do we do we get two mirrors? Is that what, what we're watching at? Is that what we're looking at? Just some mirrors. Okay, this is a nice Demon Hunter. Do we get a Demon Hunter here? Yep. This is a nice Blade Master. Do we got a Blade Master here? Yep. This barracks is almost up. This barracks is almost up. Oh, there's a shop. And this shop is a bit earlier here for Orc Worker. The faster shop. What a different build here. There's no longer a mirror, is it? A player's forces are under attack. The Blade Master is going to buy items before he leaves the base. This Blade Master is first going to leave the base and then buy items later. This Wisp is going to scout for Foggy. He said the war is uh, going to keep some turtles. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter is, is almost out here. This Ancient of the War also going to keep some turtles over here. Demon Hunter is out. The Archer takes a bit of damage from the turtle. Look at them creeping. A bit faster creep here for Foggy. He does get a cloak of shadows. He can be. Uh, he can act like a girl again if he wants to. This ancient war eats a tree. This uh, turtle's going down slowly. This demon hunter. He gets slippers. He is so powerful. Shadow stalker. He stalks you even if you go to the shadows. Terror blade. Cloak of shadows. Blade master. Uh, Yoshua. Blade master. Kigami. Yoshua. Against Kigami. Going to their opponent's bases. Oh, the Demon Hunter joins. Uh, or so wins base under attack. One peon already dead. And he's down to, uh, yeah, well, one less peon that he had before. 
Plate Master and the Deep Hunter here going for the Burrow. The Grunt here in the background going for the Peons. The Burrow did get cancelled. Another Burrow is being built here. Easy cancel, of course. If someone wants to cancel it, the Demon Hunter even has em emulation first. Never seen that before. And uh, he cancels the other Burrow. This Grunt here is running. He's gonna die to the Blade Master. The Demon Hunter kills an Archer. This Grunt here is so dead, though. And the Blade Master and the Demon Hunter just killing more peons. That's what they do. That's what I like to do. And that's what they're doing. And this peon gets away. There's a mana burn on this emulating uh, Demon Hunter. And he, uh, oh, the base is closed off. Can they cancel this uh, worm mill? They can. Easy peasy. And they run out of the base. They run away. They have done the damage. And now they're just retreating. Wow. This Demon Hunter are lo already level 2. This Demon Hunter just level 1. This Blade Master level 1. This is Blade Master level 1. They got one peon only. Two peons. Okay, two peons. Let's see how much XP. 46. Huh. Forty-six. Two more burrows going up, but Wu is gonna take them down. The Blade Master with the staff is gonna take them down. Meanwhile, we have Serena and the Light creeping over here. Grunt will see them creeping, and the Blade Master is gonna cancel some burrows. Meanwhile, we have uh, Demon Hunter. What is he going to do? No idea. We have Pendant of Energy. It's gonna be great for the Shadow Hunter later, but uh, not not that useful right now. So extra wind walks nice. The blade master is just gonna cancel this burrow again. Team hunter, what is he doing? Buys a staff as well. He staffs to the, the blade master, but because of that, the blade master <laughs> uh, cannot staff out anymore. He took too much damage. He's just running out though, and he might be able to get out, but no, he's dead. The blade master kills him. Team hunter doesn't have a way to staff out. He can only TP out. The one more peon did go down, but uh, was it what was it worth? The Grunts here attacking a Moonball. The Moonball is still up. We have uh, Ancient of Wind going up here for Loliath. What else is it going to get? I do like the Ancient of Wind against uh, Orc and... Well, we have a boss. Go, go. Beast theory going up, uh, more grunts. So there's no spirit walkers. So the uh, these guys, the truth of Talon, gonna be so powerful. But we do have dryads, so maybe they're not gonna be so powerful. I'm not sure. We have archers to kill the dryads, then Druid of Talon to cyclone the grunts and maybe fairy fire them. In fact, he might not even go for cyclone. He might not even go to tier three. What is this one going to build? He doesn't have a hunter's hole, right? No. He does get the archer upgrade. He's just going to probably mass archers with a few fairy uh, fire guys. Roots of the Talon. You want to creep him over here. Meanwhile, oh, we get uh, Serena with the Spirit Walkers. Shadow Hunter in a moment. Whoa. The Blade Master now. Kigami with two Slippers of Agility. He will give this uh, Pendant of Energy to the Shadow Hunter. He's going to be so happy with that Pendant. pendant. Uh, 98 Critical Strike. Kills the Troll. Loss of attack. Oh, what's happening over here? Demon Hunter hunting down archers. He got the one. Maybe he could get the Demon Hunter. He does. No, he doesn't have boots. The light does see the center here. The light and Sawin. They have both the Watcher Wards. A t uh, Tome of Agility. Does he pick it up? He does pick it up. It's a bit more agile now. 25. This <laughs> blade blade though. 33. One archer down, two archers down. Three archers down here for Foggy. Ah! Level 3 Blade Master. Level 3 Shadow Hunter. Uh, sorry. That's not a Shadow Hunter. Okay, that's a Shadow Stalker. That's why I said I started my sentence with Shadow, but it was a Stalker, not a Hunter. We have uh, level 3 Demon Hunter and level 3 Blade Master. I guess you can call it a Shadow Hunter because it's a Demon Hunter and it's a Shadow Stalker. So you can shorten that to Shadow Hunter. But uh, that would be confusing. So let's just call him a Demon Hunter or Shadow Stalker. If, uh, they're creeping this, by the way. His crystal Ball is not that great of an item. This item here, Potion of Greater Healing, is a nice item. But uh, not an item you want to leave behind. This Blade Master is still level 2. Demon Hunter also still level 2. And this uh, Gargantium Sea Turtle, he is level 7. But uh, he's dead. Skull of the Beast for the Blade Master. Uh, Skull of the Beast is a super item in 2 vs 2 though. Such a nice item. 
Blade Master, he uh, sells some items here. Buy the heal scroll. What, what about the supplies? The supplies. Let's, let's look at the supplies. 44 and 35. That's 79 against 40 attack. and 35. So that's uh, 75. Supplies are pretty even. But we have a completely different army here. Loliath with the archers and dudes of the Talon. Well, here for uh, Foggy, he just has some uh, dry hits. I feel like the archers are m do much more DPS. Much more powerful. No one's gonna fight here. The heroes are also uh, a lot stronger here. Oh no, we have a level 3 Blade Master now for Worker. Wonder if he picked level 2 Critical Strike. Wonder if Kigami picked level 2 Critical Strike here for Sawin. Let's see if they're gonna fight. The Blade Master just standing in uh, in the front. He has also a school of healing and a school of info potion or an uh, info potion. I'm just gonna creep a little bit more. There goes the uh, the turtle. Nice stuff. These turtles. Oh, level two uh, priestess, Shadowhunter. He's the most important hero, but he's still quite a bit far away from level three. So Archer's kind of in a shitty position. One of them dies. The other one also very uh, close to dying. Blade Master, the front is fighting against Grunts. This uh, Archer here, she's dead. Scroll of the Beast has been used here. Unfortunately, the Dryads don't get any benefit from it. Over here, the other side, we have a Scroll of Protection. The Demon Hunter in the back being healed a little bit. And uh, the Archers and the Druids of Talon go for the Blade Master. Use the Info Potion. This Grunt is going to die super duper fast. And uh, there goes the Raider. There goes the Raider for both teams. The Blade Master is killing uh, units in the background. He just does so much damage. And uh, he does still have a Scroll of Healing that he could use. There's Kodo, the Kodo uh, showing up. And someone is staffing to the Dryad. It's, it is indeed the Blade uh, Demon Hunter gives a healing potion. No, I thought he was going to give one to the Blade Master, but never mind. He just keeps them for himself. This Blade Master here for Serene is under attack. This uh, Demon Hunter here for Lolite is going to DP. And uh, it seems the Dryads, they did win over the Archers and Dudes of the Tail. And it seems the Blade Master just uh, rips those Archers and Dudes of the Tail apart so easily. So fast. Oh, we have a tree of life here in low light space. There goes another grunt. Let's look at the supplies real fast. Let's look at the supplies. 39 and 33. That's uh, 72. Here we have 37 and 50. That's 87. So 15 supply advantage down for Team Orc Worker and Foggy. And uh, the hero levels. Did they catch back up in hero levels? Priestess level 2. This one is level 2 with less XP. Demon Hunter level 3. Uh, this one is level 3. In this case, uh, we still have more XP for Team uh, Foggy. Uh, not Team Foggy, for Team uh, Loliath. But the Shadow Hunter, that's the most important hero. He's almost level 3. This one is... Uh, oh, Ketikar's Pipe of Insight! Are you kidding me? He's, he's almost level 3 as well, though. You should probably remove his Demon Hunter or Blade Master or both from this uh, creeping. Just get a level 3 Shadow Hunter. Priestess also needs level 3. I think they could have uh, crept both of these heroes to level 3. They'd be in a super nice position. They could still creep this creep camp. They just need these two levels, uh, these two heroes to be level 3. And then they're good to go. Here we have already have a level 3 Priestess and a level 3 Shadow Hunter. So maybe maybe if Team uh, Sawin and Lolliot can attack here, but they'd the be too late. But they do have the Tree of Life up. They don't even want to fight actually right now. They just want to buy as much time as possible. This, uh, these heroes will get their level 3s. Shadow Hunter in a moment. After they're killing the turtle. There it is. Some nice healing waves. Okay, and uh, what about the supplies now? 45. 42. So that's uh, 87. Here we have 49, 55, the 104. We have this expansion up. And he's building Ancient Wars for defense. They do have Nature's Blessing. Where did the Ancient of Wind go? Oh, here it is. And uh, what's this? Another Ancient of War, but this time for Foggy. Foggy also building Ancient of Wars. There's no need to for him to build Ancient of Wars though. He's over 50 supply. 
There's a nice mana burn and a mana burn. The demon hunters mana burning each other. Ancient of Wind does go down. We have another Ancient of War being built here. And he's building some archers. And he's building more archers out of this one as well. Just uh, massing those archers for defense. The Blade Master fighting, uh, killing this Ravager. Slowly killing it. God, the Officer Wind uh, joins the fight as well. So these archers do a lot of damage. Plus 5 damage now. Well, over here the Dryads do plus 6 damage. Wow. Well... That's uh, nice. There's some more healing waves. Oh, this demolisher did so much damage if it uh, could go by unnoticed. If no one notices demolisher attacking from the left side, uh, it could do a lot of damage. Maybe Team Low Light can defend here. This Ancient War is going to die maybe sometime soon. Uh, he's, he's taking a lot of damage. Maybe someone can kill it or just some focus fire because he's healing. Uh, you want to uh, kill it in one shot. Okay, he's healing actually so much. The Blade Master took a lot of damage. He's still alive. Shadow Hunter. Is out of no, he's not out of mana. He still has plenty of mana. We'll see another healing wave here in a moment. Uh, some more retreating here by the team Loliath. They had a beautiful play, uh, defensive position there, but it seems they have uh, team uh, Foggy broke through. And the Blade Master and the Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter with the immolation, even uh, killing killing whatever they can. It is a little animal now, Hermit Crab. We see Loliath retreating here to the right side. So Sohin retreating here to the north side, loses Kodo, looking so difficult for Team Sohin to uh, defend this. But this Ancient of War is still up, and they're building mass archers, but uh, the, now they have to defend over here. Team Hunter has a healing potion. Is it the Molisher still alive somewhere? I'm not sure. <laughs> don't see it. We have a chicken, chicken Blade Master, but uh, he's being focused. Maybe if Team Low Light can force some TPs. They can survive just one TP. They just need the first one TP to survive this. They kill Raider. Blade Master is super low. If they can kill the Blade Master, would be nice as well. The Demon Hunter kills some dudes of the Talon. And now uh, he can kill some archers. The Raider here in the front as well. Demon Hunter is uh, not killing anything. The Blade Master did die for Orc Worker. Uh, missed that, but you know, I saw earlier being very low on hit points. Uh, the Warden, uh, not Warden. Priest is level 4. Shadow Hunter doesn't have a TP. The Shadow Hunter is uh, focused. Did Team Orc Worker over commit? Fighting in his base where they uh, don't really have much of a retreat route. The Shadow Hunter drops some items, uses a mana potion. <laughs> he drops a mana potion as well. What? And uh, there was a mana burn. Okay, that's uh, Blade Master here. Super low on hit points if they have a healing wave for this. Oh, healing scroll. That's nice. This, this Demon Hunter is dead. This looks like it's GG. Team Lion and Sawin, they defended. And uh, Team Foggy and Orc they kind of overcommitted. You know, over totally, totally overcommitted. Yeah, I guess there's some health insurance. There's uh, a healing fountain. That's your insurance. If you get hurt, just go to the healing fountain and you will heal back up. Foggy here, going with the keeper. Going, uh, is Ally going with the blade master? We have Loliath in the purple going with the demon hunter on Lost Temple. Interesting choice. We don't have a mirror. Here we see a blade master. Okay, demon hunter against. Keeper, guys. Well, of course, we're both gonna creep this uh, creep camp first. He doesn't even build an archer. Well, here on the other side, we sell a light. He does build an archer first. Is it maybe? Is he going for treants first? That would be interesting. This wisp is uh, gonna scout it. Blade Master there with the grunt. Blade Master here with the grunt. The keeper. Here he is. Ace of the War eats a tree. Okay, well, uh, let's look at this fight. Oh, yeah, he does go for treants. Makes it a lot easier to creep this creep camp. The Demon Hunter here go for this Ogre Warrior. And he's going to kill him. Meanwhile, the. Uh, Foggy just killing all these trolls first. The ogre last. There's an expansion. Glove of haste here for the keeper. Meanwhile, the blade master is creeping in the center. Oh, this one got ensnared. So we can get his grunt ensnared. Don't don't forget. Um, so we is the fourth best orc in the world, of course. Blade master and the grunt here killing this uh, first soul berserker. Meanwhile, the blade master over here killing a uh, first soul berserker as well and a first soul shadow priest. Oh. Blade Master here and the Grunt killing this uh, Forstal Trapper. Okay, well. 
Gonna vent over there. Oh, beautiful expansion for both players. The light here, and uh, the other side we have foggy. He's going for the keeper. The keeper it does use an entangle here on the blade master. Here come the wisps. Mazuru against Daisho, by the way. Oh, is he uh Okay, what are they doing? Are they going for the expansion? We have Demon Hunter, three archers defending this expansion. With three grunts here. And more grunts here for Sawin. He summons some treants. Okay, well there's a Demon Hunter defending. Nine mana mana burn. And four archers here. Uh, Blade Master is going for the tree of life. Uh, can he cancel this by himself? The Grunts cannot really reach because of the archers there. Uh, the Keeper has to TP out because he took a lot of damage there. Foggy. And it's just a Blade Master now left here for Orc Worker. But he cannot cancel this Tree of Life. He also TPs out. He didn't do any damage here at all. And both Foggy and Orc Worker has to TP out. This tree of life building more uh, wisps. This tree of life is also pretty uh, beautiful. This grunt over here. Going for the center. Okay, do we now have to fight for the center? We have grunts and archers here for team Lolite and Sawin. We have grunts. Huntresses here for team Foggy and Orc Worker. But they only have, uh, well, actually no Huntresses yet. It's going to be the first Huntress. They have double Angel of War. They will build a lot of Huntresses. Here we also are going to see Hunters is here for Loliath. Does get this uh, Ultra Vision up. Okay, we have a fight here. This Archer is totally dead. Blade Master hunting down this Archer, but uh, you know, she hides. Because no. Ah, ah. The Blade Master hunting down this Keeper. Can he get the Keeper? Demon Hunter almost gets surrounded here on the right side, or does he get surrounded? No, he's not surrounded just yet. This Archer in trouble. Speed Scroll used here for uh, Orc Worker. And the Blade Master just wants his Archer. The Grunts want the Demon Hunter. They have pretty much the Demon Hunter surrounded, but the Blade Master cannot uh, attack the Demon Hunter, so he doesn't die very fast. The Blade Master is also surrounded, by the way. If Soin realizes, he could force, uh, he could kill this Blade Master, that's for sure. He doesn't have a TP. Okay, he's going for the Blade Master now. This Blade Master is so dead. He's dead. The Demon Hunter here, he's uh, for Loliath. He does TP out. These Grunts are super low hit points. The Blade Master kills one. This other one uh, might get away, might die, I'm not sure. Blade Master doing a lot of damage with his sword. Okay, he wakes up the creeps, he gets purged. Interesting, he got hexed and <laughs> then he got purged by the creeps. Grunt here is doing uh taking a lot of damage as well. What do we have here? Double APAP. APAP rush. For team uh, Foggy. Is anyone attacking? Let's see. Foggy's not attacking, but Lolia did attack the Tree of Ages. He's getting double uh, Angel of Lore up. We see both the orcs here at uh, Stronghold. Both with uh, Spirit Lodges and Bestiaries. Swin even building a War Mill. Creeping the center. Demon Hunter trying to uh, kill some Huntresses. Archers helping out a little bit. The Archers are Michael back. The Blade Master go for the Null Overseer. With the Grunts as well. The Shadow Hunter is hunting. He's a, he's a Shell Crab thing. Herbert Crab. Blade Master kills the uh, no Overseer. Picks up a one of mana stealing the Shadow Hunter. Is he going to be saved? There's a Speed Scroll. The Chicken Shadow Hunter does get away. For now at least. But he gets entangled. And the Hunters just do surround this Shadow Hunter. And he's going to die. Meanwhile over here. We have a uh, Frog Shadow Hunter. Uh, every Shadow Hunter is a Frog. But he was a Super Frog. And he got out. Or he was a Mini Frog I should say. We have a Bunny Mana Burn there on the Spirit Walker. Oh, he survives with 15 hit points. What a survival set of hunter. But does the uh, keeper survive? Keeper doesn't look to survive uh, this for Foggy. Blade Master does get the item though. Wand of mana, uh, wand of uh, wand of the wind here. For the Blade Master uses it on the Blade Master of uh, of Serene. A, a big fight here still. So many hunters for Foggy. It loses one of them. 
But uh, he still has plenty of them left. There's also Grunt and Raiders. Uh, Blade Master. But we have three heroes here in the, in the purple for Team Lil Wyatt. Only one hero uh, here for Orc Worker. Not sure where the Shadow Hunter is and when he's coming back, he's healing, he's uh, using the Clarity. The AP, APs are sitting down here attacking that, uh, this base. Blade Master. I mean, he's fighting against a Demon Hunter, but the Demon Hunter has Spirit Link and a Healing Fountain. Even a level 2 Blade Master cannot kill that uh, Demon Hunter. And there's a Shadow Hunter now for Serene. It does look like Team Serene Loliath is gonna win this fight. And the Blade Master is being stuck, not attacking this uh, hunter. Oh, there's a Shadow Hunter. Be careful because Raiders don't have Ensnare yet. This is gonna be easy to hold here. They actually uh, just built a Glaive Thrower to defend this. Very interesting choice. They don't even have to go back home to defend it. Okay, well, Team uh, Serena Lolayet are at 103 supply, and Team Orc Worker and Foggy are at 90, 49, 90 supply now. So 10 supply advantage, but also the hero levels. Team Serene and Lolayet have 3 1 and 3 2. The other team has 2 1 and just a level 2. So, much, a pretty big, huge advantage here for Team Serene. Let's see what item we got over here. Book of the Dead. Book of the Dead is, of course, uh, not the great against Dryads and Spirit Walkers. That are not adapted yet, though. So maybe uh, he's. No, they, are, they will be adapted in a moment. Are they going for the Creepjack? No, they aren't. We have a Medallion of Courage. Not Blade Master. And we have a Medallion of Courage on the, on the Demon Hunter, who's already level 4. Too bad that these items don't give any uh, agility. So he gives, gives it to the Shadow Hunter. Do we see the same here? Does he give it to the Keeper? No. Okay. And mana on the keeper is not that important, of course. Nice detonate. A player's force is okay, and the demon hunter gonna creep here. Demon hunter is level four. The keeper is almost level three. We have some wisps in here. Nice, there's a her boulder here on the demon hunter. He picked up a mana stone. And he keeps the troll. Oh, Tome of XP is nice, but at the moment his heroes are. Oh, wait, he doesn't even pick it up. Maybe he leaves it for the Shadow Hunter. Oh, yeah. The Shadow Hunter, if he picks it up, he's level 3. Maybe that was not intentional. Imagine if there was a Blade Master here. Uh, where's the Blade Master? This Blade Master of Orc Worker. He could have stolen this Tome of XP, but that's fine. This Blade Master is almost level 4, but the Shadow Hunter, he needs it. He needs the level 3. And then, uh, yeah, things are looking so nice here for Team Serena and Loliot. Demon Hunter, Blade Master, pretty much 4. So 4-3 four, and 4-3 four, against 2-2 two, two, and 3. These heroes are pretty close to level 3, but can they uh, get enough XP to get level 3? Yeah, they can. Okay, so 2 level 3s, there they are. So 4-3 against 3-3 three, three, and 4-3 against just 1 level 3. Uh, oh, we do see the tech here for Foggy, finally. He's going Hippogriff Riders. Oh my god. Hippogriff Riders. And we see a Fortress here for Orc Worker. I mean, we already saw one over here for Serene. So, uh, of course, the, the Kodo upgrade is always worth it. The Molisher upgrade. Does he have Demolishers? He's also getting Master Spirit Walkers. He doesn't have a single Demolisher yet. But I guess he's going Demolishers later. He has double Barracks, in fact. Here we also have the Kodo upgrade, of course, also the Master Spirit Walkers upgrade. Uh, at least not yet, but it's gonna be done in a moment. Expansion here in the corners for both players. And uh, I'm not sure if Serene has pillage. Serene, no pillage. Those two Moonwells. She's a hippo. They're fighting here. The Keeper, uh, nice shitty position. Oh, he is now a rat. But I'm not sure if he's gonna die now. Not with the Moonwells. He should be fine. This, uh, the Shredder is stuck. He should uproot this, uh, this tree. Oh, the Keeper is still going to die. He's a frog. He dies. Where's the uproot on the tree? Well, it doesn't matter. So we keep his out. But the Keeper is totally dead. And now we have an attack here. But just Dryads. They can do shit. 
Maybe he's going to cancel this uh, tree if he knows it's there. This little lies a wisp. Yeah, he can cancel that uh, tree easy peasy. The drives are 1-1. One, one. Over here we have grunts to grunts. Of course they are beautiful. They're 0-0. Zero, zero. The Blade Master has the orb now. Orb of lightning and he attacks super duper fast. The hypocrite riders are 1-0 and they kill one dryad maybe. Yes! This other dryad is also pretty dead. This archer is also pretty dead but they do cancel that, ex that uh, expansion. Oh, the archer is hiding. Buying some dust or no, doesn't have doesn't care. Doesn't care about the archer. This expansion is up though for Loliath. What's Loliath getting? He also has double ancient of wind. And the tree of eternity. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, he's defending this position now. He can fight this one on one, easy peasy. So his ally uh Foggy needs to hurry up. This dry takes a bit of damage, the demon to uh Make sure this, this raider is dead and we'll see TP out here soon. Well, not soon. He's gonna buy as much time as he can for his ally to do to attack this base. And there's the TP. He lost another dryad, but uh, I'm sure that's fine. The dryads are 1-1. Does he have uh, pillage now? No. Still no pillage for Suin. Maybe he got pillage. But he does have two demolishers. One, two upgraded. Just like the guns and the raiders and everyone else. Look at the siege damage. He's just killing this base. And here comes uh, Lolight again. After TPing home, he's already underway at a worker's base. It was building Torrin, by the way. Or at least uh, Torrin Totem. Griff Riders uh, killing these uh, demolishers. Pretty oh, they're running too far away. Or do they? Uh, this TP. Yeah, no. One got uh, out and one got killed. Right. This expansion is up as well. So we have five bases against three bases. Uh four bases now. Okay, five bases against four bases. Hero levels are still a lot better for Team Lolliot. Four three, four three against three three. And one now, since the keeper's dead, but after he gets the keeper back, three and one. Blade Magic and some uh, nulls. Ah! On the 62 critical strike. Does he get a second uh, upgrade here? Attack upgrade, I mean. No, he's getting the burrow upgrade. Building demolishers in mass. Hippos here to counter the opponent's hippos. Hippos are 1 1 though. And the hippos here for uh, Foggy. Hippos. I don't know. Uh, hippo riders are 2 and 0. Huntresses are 2 and 0. Hippo Riders doing a lot of damage, but if you unmount them, I think they're 0 and 0. Oh, he finds a Zeppelin. What? Hello, Zeppelin. Okay, here comes the attack of Sawin. Let's see if Team Foggy can defend. Keeper isn't back yet because he had to rebuild the Moon Wells, the Altar. There's no tavern on this map. There goes one uh, Ainge of War. Team Hunter is very fired though. There goes another building. Here comes his ally. He has one Tauren, but it's looking uh, very unlikely that Team Blue, Team Foggy and Orc Worker are going to defend here. We have so many Demolishers. Three in the back and we have Bears now as well using uh, Roar. These guys do so much damage. Plus 41 damage. And uh, there's one Tauren here killing a Raider. Kodo here, he's hungry, but he's being uh, perched here by the uh, Blade Master. You don't want to lose the Kodo, actually. Losing that Kodo is big. Deal. Oh, no, never mind. He has another Kodo walking in just in time, showing up. Hey, guys, I'm here. I'll play you guys some music on my uh, Kodo drums. The Torrent is still alive, but besides that, this blue army, it's uh, there's not much left. Blade Master even dies over there. The Shadow Hunter, uh, he is pretty much, you know, there, but GG. GG. The Lion and Serene are 2 and 1 up over uh, Foggy and Orc Worker. Chaco, I see you accept Bitcoin donations. How much Bitcoin do you own? Uh, I don't own any on my, uh, my own account. Um, there was someone that wanted to do donate some Bitcoins, but then, he, then we realized the uh, transaction costs are super high right now, so yeah, he never donated. I mean, it isn't worth it to donate like $20 if you have to pay like another $16 for transaction costs. 
So, uh, I don't have any of my own account, but I have a little bit on my, you know, that my brother manages for me. It's not that much. I have a few hundred uh, euros in cryptocurrency and um, a good portion of that is in bitcoins. <laughs> Jack runs a Bitcoin empire. Anyway, we have, uh, we have this Centaur Outrunner here again here for Loliath. Again, this is a regame. The Demon Hunter and the Blade Master against the Keeper and the Blade Master. I think they're going the same heroes as last game. Two Centaurs, though, for Loliath, and they're working on this Moonwell. This Moonwell is going down. Is it going down fast or is it going down not fast enough? It seems it's going down not fast enough. The Keeper is going to be born here in a moment. There, he, there is the Keeper. And of course, uh, these outrunners, they're just outrunning the keeper. Are they going back into the base? It's not like they can get the move all. Maybe it's on other building. Now with the demon hunter there and of course the blade master and the grunt there as well. The blade master and the keeper are going uh, out to play somewhere. No grunts. Oh, no, there he has a barracks. But the grunts are going to be late because he bought items first. Went for late uh, barracks. Here come the outrunners. Here comes the demon hunter. Are they going to right click the ancient of war? Does look like it. I think it's going to be cancelled with the Blade Master also being there. And the Grunt even going to join as well. There's way too much DPS here. We see TP home even for this Keeper. Just to try to keep his Ancient of War alive. But uh, will that be enough? I don't think so. It's going to be cancelled. And no units for... Oh, and he walks into the surround. Horrible start here for Foggy. Mana burn. And this uh, this Keeper is dead. And Blade Master now going for the Centaur. And uh, there goes a wisp. There's a mana burn on the blade master. And uh, there's some healing stuff. Oh no! no okay. Centaur does retreat. And now are they going for the main? <laughs> this is the centaur is working on the tree of ages. Don't think they will get the main. But uh, you know the blade master shows up. Let's see what else do we have here. Double barracks here for Sawin. Nothing here for Loliath. I guess he's uh, supplying Sawin with uh, money. He's giving uh, money to Sawin. Feeding him. Grunts here. Centaurs. He There's a, the keeper is back and he uses an entangle on what? What did he entangle? Or did he get mana burned? I think he was about to entangle, then he got mana burned. There goes a move all this. Uh, this Ancient of War is of Loliath, by the way, of Team Yellow. So offensive one. So the Blade Master and the Grunt were trying to kill it. But uh, the Keeper got surrounded again. He dies again. The Demon Hunter is uh, retreating or healing and both at the same time. He does get hit by the Grunt. He loses his healing self. He has another healing self though and he uses it. This Ancient of War is up. And uh, another Ancient of War is going up for Loliath. And they're going for the tree now. Now it uh, looks a lot better, a lot more uh, effective. They have a lot more units to kill down. To Cut down the tree of life. The keeper is just now being rebuilt. It's gonna take some time. 32 seconds before it gets back, or 36. I mean, the blade master two grunts going uh, for this ancient war, but this one is still going up as well. What is this? Foggy with uh, AP and the Moonwell for defense. They do take that ancient war out, but the tree of ages is going down. It's down 140 hit points, and so nobody can save the. He's dead. GG. What a short the final game here. GG. So win and uh, Loliath, they win. 3 to 1.